Hello everyone, T1 Glistener Elf here at GP Atlanta. I'm having a lot of fun, gotten to play a few games, gotten to set up my melee setup. You can see here I have my controllers, my Wii. I haven't actually put it back up because uh, the Cobb Galleria, the event center we're at, is strictly worse than the Infinite Energy Center in Duluth because uh, they, don't <laughs> they don't let me keep this out. I spoke with someone before I got here but apparently word didn't get up or I spoke with the wrong person or however that works so oops, I'll know for next time. In any case, still playing some magic. Brought my vintage gauntlet, so we'll see who wants to play that. Alright, so now that I got that taken care of, now that I got melee put back up, I have two missions. Well, okay, the first mission is just getting this passball adept, finding a home for it. There's a donation box in the convention center, so that's where it's going. But the second is getting some autographs on my mat. See how that goes. Wish me luck. Alright, so now that I have a moment, here are the decks that I brought. I brought the, uh, <laughs> the entire box. Oh my goodness, okay, now, <laughs> I say entire box. I brought two rows of this five row box, but it still ends up being 14 decks? 16 decks, there we go. Plus the one in my deck box. So we'll start with that one. I brought Legacy Infect. for playing Legacy, and I'll actually be entering that event uh, at 6.30. Then I brought, just for, for playtesting purposes, I'm not in any modern events, so I brought the five color sliver shenanigans deck, the one that combos with dormant sliver, but can also play uh, opposition with telekinetic sliver. Yeah, that monstrosity. And for Popper, now this one I actually had to switch cards around for because uh, the brainstorms are in legacy in fact, hence the empty sleeves. I brought Turbo Fog. So, playing against people for that. But those have just been casual so far. I haven't done anything competitive yet. Ended up not being able to make it yesterday, so I'm just doing side events and casual stuff and bringing melee. That's it. So, big news, other than I just missed autograph chances three times in a row. <laughs> yeah, Reed Duke, Ross Merriam, Zach Kalsik. Oops. But aside from that, 
I asked for permission to record my side event for uh, from the, someone over at Channel Fireball at the side event table. Uh, oh, I can't remember his name. And I got permission, so you will see you will see the camera. You'll see the T1 Glistenrel set up for the uh, Legacy event. I am playing an incomplete Legacy deck, not because I mean I just couldn't find the well. You know what? Actually, if I hurry, I might be able to get it. its crop rotation. It's nothing expensive, so if I hurry, I can do that. So I'm gonna I'll be right back. Man, if I have any time in between rounds, that is absolutely where I'm going. So I actually kind of made myself miss my chance at that crop rotation. There was a gentleman doing a trade at one of the booths that definitely had it. And he was trading for, or not traded, buying, trading, what am I talking about? And he was buying some beta stuff. <laughs> Juzon Jin? The, the, the black genie with a maniacal grin that's worth a billion dollars? Yeah, that guy. And uh, I waited. I walked away to wait while they were doing that. I waited a little too long, so that's my bad. So there's a Sylvan Scrying in the sideboard. Just not ideal. I guess it's better against Force of Will, but uh, that's it. Greetings, Earthlings. This is why you never give up. Because just like Manta Ray, you too can top eight a PTQ down here in Atlanta and walk home with some Boros Big Lands and some Tickies. Never give up, believe in yourself, and be good to your friends. Magic the Gathering will help you all the way. Hey! You can follow me in my tournament reports at mantaraydisco.com. Follow me on my Twitter, follow me on my Instagram, and see all the exciting actions. You too can be a star. Never give up. Alright, real quick, just played against what's supposed to be one of my better matchups in Legacy, which is Death Shadow. Uh, I say better matchups, it's weird, because they don't care about their life total, and you don't either, so they get a little bit more freedom. But I have Invigorate, which actually weakens their creatures to their Death Shadows, um, and Swords to Plushers out of the side is a 3 of, and Swords will not only take out a Death Shadow, but eat. You know, it'll make it where they have to lower their life total again before they can even play a Death Shadow. So, that's, uh, but there's a video, link in the doobly-doo, to the, uh, the actual match itself so you can see how it went. So, you know, Invigorate Berserk is a combo. <laughs> Got me game three against uh, Legacy Lands. He had a hand he probably should have mulled anyway, and he knew it, but it had swords in it. He was hoping he could get to uh, some white mana, Mox Diamond or whatnot, for too long, but he, he didn't, poor guy. Um, that's, that's not a great match. A punishing Fire is a pretty punishing card. <laughs> and Dark Confidants in the deck, too. It was a... Uh, um, what would you call it? Junk depths? Junk lands? So Dark Confidant just draws and draws and draws and draws, and they don't ever have to worry about their life total. Not, not, not really. Uh, Dry Darber, Noble Hierarch, but not really. All right, so we got there. We're 1-1. One, one. All right. I'm a, uh, real quick, I'm T1 Glistener Elf. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. So uh, obviously Noble Hierarch, since there's not a Glistener Elf promo, next yeah. best thing. Uh, good to meet you, man. Uh, yeah, you too. No, you thanks. do good work. Oh, you've seen my stuff? Yeah, some of the videos. Oh, 
the, the, the oh Tom Ross one, oh, okay. for sure. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Like that one, uh, Ross's one is good. Oh, yeah. And then... What are the other ones? Like the player ones? Like, uh, Conley Woods has one. Feel and Longmore has one. I need to get some more. There's, yeah. a, there's a backlog. Yeah, I believe But work it. is, you know, work will get you, so... Yeah. yeah, I hate to say, but the gameplay is the easiest stuff to make, so... Yeah. You know. The, the trivia videos take yeah, a while. Yeah, that, that takes time. You have to go through, like, all the footage. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. Find all the good clips. Um, I appreciate it, man. That's... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm like, do I say anything? Do I... Ah, do it... Do it. I still get starstruck. Oh. Yeah, so, hey, thanks, man. We're, we're, we're all just people, you know? That's all right. Well, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, are you, wait, are you from around here, or just I'm the not, edge of uh, I, I live in Washington State, and I'm here for the PT next weekend. Okay. So just staying in this hotel for the week. Okay, uh, you'll see me again then. Okay, nice. So that'll be cool. I'm the guy that brings the melee set up. They, you uh, saw a TV okay. out there for a little while. Yeah, yeah. We were playing Smash Bros. That, that's me. Awesome. So nice. as long as they'll let me, and here apparently they don't, but yeah. I'm, I'm a very, very casual observer of melee, <laughs> but I appreciate it. All right. Fair enough. That puts you in the same camp as like Ninja, so that's, yeah. <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> we're basically the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So All right. Sign? Sure, absolutely. Just wherever you feel like. All right, that's cool, man. That's yeah. cool. So better get working on your PhD, the the signature. <laughs> no, I, I think I have it where I'm comfortable. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Like the doctor scribble where it's just. Oh yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like. No, it, my it's... my mom used to write like she she would sign things like very neat cursive. Nice. And I was just oh, I'm sorry. I was just kind of like anti that. Oh. You know, it was just like I don't really like that as a signature. So it yeah, works. Like, Doctor Scribble, I'm, hey, I'm down with that. If you ever get into baseball, you've got the perfect oh, signature yeah, for right. it. <laughs> That's how that works, right? Yeah. Thanks, man. I really yeah. appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. Hey, take care. See you next week. Hell yeah. Next weekend. Yeah. Yes. All right. The, the Jesus-looking glycerol elf aficionado. We'll go with that. All right, take care. Yeah, you too. Ten. Sure. Good games. Good <laughs> What was the punishing fire? I had no, dark tips, no outs, but a dark tip. Okay. Gotta hurry, because the battery's about to die. Won the last round, so I lose against Death Shadow, and I win against Lands twice, for some reason. Uh, 100 tickets, and I'm gonna get a couple of 50 ticket play mats, so gotta get the Modern Masters one, because one of my favorite sets. Shoutouts to Nikachu for, uh, gotta get a merfolk. Gotta get the merfolk in my mind's eye. So that'll do it, and that'll be it. I am out of here. Two listener elf out. <laughs>